When we're examining Excel as a database, it's important to visit the lookup functions of Excel. For those of you who have dealt with databases before, lookup functions are a way of merging tables and borrowing information between tables. In this example that I have, I have several students who have completed a course and gotten these total grades. And I'd like to pick up the grade out of 100, return the letter grade that is associated with it using this table that's given to me in columns I and J. And then once I get the letter grade, I would like to use the tables that is given to me in columns L and M and get the point grade. For example, if you look at Özlem here, her grade is a 96, which will correspond to an A and the A will correspond to a 4.0. I will show you how to find the letter grade and point grade using two different types of lookup functions, the lookup function and the H lookup function. Excel also has a V lookup function, which I will not go over because V lookup and H lookup are the same in functionality. V lookup works for vertical databases as the ones we have here and HLOOKUP works exactly the same for horizontal databases. So let's first start with the lookup function. The lookup function has three arguments, which value you would like to look up for, the value 88, where do you want to look up for it, it's, I want to try to find a match of it or something close to it in column I, I3 through I16. And the third argument is why, where do you want me to pick up the results from? And the results should be coming from column J, J3 through J16. So three arguments. The first one is what do you want to look up? The blue cell. Then the pink cells, where do you want to look it up? And then the purple cells, where do you want the results to be picked up from. Before we push enter, let's try to guess what we need, what we will be getting. Well, 95 and above will give you an A, 90 to 95 will give you an A minus, 85 to 90 will give you a B plus. So we should be getting a B plus here. I push enter and I get a B plus. Now I'd like to repeat this for all the other students. I can copy paste the formula. When I copy paste the formula, something odd happens. I get some errors. Let's see why these errors are happening. Let's click on this particular student and look at the formula. So if I see an error in the formula, I usually go ahead and highlight the formula and see what it refers to. What I see here is I'm looking up the right value, 37, but the lookup vector and the result vector have shifted. This is because in Excel, when you're trying to refer to a cell or a bunch of cells, you can refer to them as relative references or absolute references. What happened here is, in the very first formula here I had in D3, I had referred to C3 and I had referred to these cells here. As I shift the formula all the way down to D8, these references shifted from C3 to C8, but these references shifted as well. As much as I'd like to sh have the blue references shift, the pink reference and the purple reference from D3 should not have shifted. So how do I fix that? I need to go back to my original formula and I need to tell Excel somehow when you copy paste this, keep changing the blue references but fix the pink and the purple reference. And the way to do that is to put dollar signs on these cell references so that it fixes these. These are called absolute referencing. So if you want to do this, you highlight what you want to fix, what you want to have an absolute reference for. And if you're using a PC, you push F4. If you're using a Mac, you use the keys Command and T at the same time. I will push F4. If I push F4, I get dollar signs everywhere in front of the column references and the row references. If I push F4 once again, 
I get dollars in front of the row references. If I push F4 once again, I get the dollar in front of only the column references and it keeps toggling around as I keep pushing F4. So I will make that uh, reference an absolute and the uh, reference to the purple cells J3 to J16 an absolute reference as well. Now I copy paste it and I get the right answers. So I used the lookup function and I got what I needed to. Now the next thing I'm going to do is look up these letter grades and then pick up the point grades. Again, let's try to use the lookup function and see what happens. I see lookup. The lookup value is D3. The lookup vector is L3 through L14. I'm going to make that an absolute reference by pushing F4. And the result vector is M3 through M14. Again, I'm going to push F4 to make that an absolute reference as well. And then I hit enter, I get B plus is at 3.3. B plus is at 3.3, that's good. Let's now copy paste this, see what's gonna happen. Well, if you look at the D, for example, I immediately notice that there is a problem. The D should have been a 1, but it gives me a 1.7. What's happening here? There's something very crucial in the way we need to use the lookup function. The lookup function always assumes that the lookup vector is sorted in ascending order. When you examine L3 through L14, you may say, well, this looks like it's in ascending order A, B, C, D, F. But unfortunately, there is a little hiccup here. If you truly sort this in alphanumeric structure, you would get A, A minus, then B, B minus, B plus. And this is really not sorted. So for these lookup functions to work properly, I need to go ahead and sort this little table in ascending order. So for that I need to be anywhere in column L within my table. I'm going to go to sort under the home ribbon and I'm just going to say sort A to Z. Now as you can see I have A, A minus, B, B minus, B plus, etc. And if you look at now the point grades you see that I actually get the correct one. So D is a 1, C minus is a 1.7, etc. So this is how we get our results using the lookup function. Next I'm going to show you how we will get the same result using the VLOOKUP function.